Good morning, children. How are you? I hope you are all doing fine today. Today, we are going to see a new lesson, a new chapter, lesson two, nouns. Nouns. So, what is meant by, what is a noun? Everybody knows the simple definition. Noun, a noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. Yeah, we learn these things in the small classes, no? Yeah. Na noun is the name of a person, name of a place, or name of a thing. For example, look at the board. Revi, name of a person. Maya, another person. Calicut. Then Rami, sugar, bent, fan, things. So here we get the example, name of persons, name of places, name of things. So simply we can say, noun is the name of a person, name of a place or a thing. Then we have different or the different kinds of nouns that is very important we have to learn it today itself okay so different kinds of nouns they are proper noun proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun <coughs> please see what is meant by a proper noun Name of a proper person, particular person, a particular place or thing. It is called proper noun. Proper noun. Then coming to common noun. So that is uh, applicable to all the uh, people. So common, quite common to all. Then collective noun is the a group of a, a family, a group or people or animals or things we take it as a unit then that noun is known as collective noun then material noun so the word also refers to that name material name of material materials wood bench or uh, sugar oil so materials gold silver material with which we make things then abstract things, abstract noun. Abstract noun shows the names of our feelings. So abstract nouns are con not concrete. We can't see, we cannot touch. For example, sincerity, determination, love, sympathy, pity. Can you see that? No. Can you touch it? No. So such a noun is known as uh, abstract noun. So once again, the proper noun, common noun, collective noun, material noun, and the last one, abstract noun. Okay. Now we see the nouns one by one. Kinds of nouns, proper noun, common noun, collective noun, material noun, and abstract noun. Now, the first one, proper noun. The name of a person, place, or a thing is particular, is called proper noun. For example, it is given in your text. <coughs> Persons, Subhash Chandra Bose, Ashay Kumar, Kabil Dev, these are the names of persons. Then place. America, Nepal, All India Institute of Medical Science, uh, Citadel School, places, things, Megramax, Corrosin, Heat, Bath, all these are things. The Gangas, the Rock Mountain, the Apps, Sunday, Monday, April, names of uh, months, days. The discovery of India, India Today, the Hindu, the Malayala Manorama, the Indian Express, names of Purpose. All these belong to a proper noun. Proper noun. Then, common noun. Names assigned to the categories of persons, places, things, living or non-living, 
etc. are termed as common nouns. Example, woman, child, girl, infant, etc. Then places, school, playground, office, nursery, things, mobile phone, computer, vehicle, fan, then professionals, doctor, engineer, editor, goldsmith, blacksmith, then animals, serpent, panther, squirrel, vixen, etc. All these nouns belong to common nouns. Common nouns. Then next noun is collective noun. Names assigned to the collections or group of persons, places or things, etc. are called collective nouns. For example, crowd, people, swarm, jury, police, bunch, flock, heart, assembly, block, regiment, grove, move, etc. They belong to collective noun. Then coming to material nouns. These are material nouns are the names assigned to the materials of sustain of of which we make things. Example, gold, silver, milk, sugar, water, air, wood, salt, honey, poison, wine, iron. All these are materials. So they are called material nouns. Material noun. The word also refers to that uh, meaning. Material. Then Coming to the last one, that is abstract noun. Abstract. That cannot be seen, that cannot be touched. But it is felt. That is called abstract. These are the names assigned to various feelings, qualities, actions, states, virtues, etc. For example, wisdom, sincerity, cruelty, obstinacy, honor, height, danger, love, Hate, confidence, determination, bravery, patriotism. All these are all these are abstract nouns. Abstract that cannot be seen, that cannot be touched, but we feel that it is there. So that's why it is called abstract nouns. Then there is an activity for you. Please do the activity today itself. Activity. Identify the kinds of the highlighted nouns in the following paragraph and categorize then them under the respective heads. The media, particularly television, has been blindly imitating the debased form of Western culture. It is not only television but also films that are responsible for this problem. The narrow-minded and short-sighted view that equates modernization with westernization is detrimental to our national pride and, and ethos. The culture and communication policy of India can fruitfully adopt the following statement of Gandhi as its basic guideline. I do not want my house to be walled in all sides or my windows to be stuck. I want cultures of all lands to be blown about my house as freely as possible, but I refuse to be blown off my feet. They should both be on the Indian state. The culture and communication policy should accept and preserve the traditional forms of our culture and sincere effort should be made to integrate them with the demands of the present age. Experimentation and innovation should be such as to help in protecting, preserving, and adopting traditional art forms which provide vital links of continuity between the present and the future generations. So in this long para paragraph, you find many words are encircled. So find out the following encircled words and see which category they belong, whether they are material nouns, whether they are common nouns, proper nouns, or abstract nouns. I hope 
you have understood today's lesson we will continue the uh, gender of nouns the next class okay take care of your health thank you we will meet the next day